All right, so for you to be able to use your Wi-Fi range extender to extend your Wi-Fi to either extend your Wi-Fi range to the place you where you want to work or to um, to use this extender uh, to use the, the Wi-Fi that you have installed somewhere, plug it into your computer box. As for this one, as, as for the case of this one, this computer box here does not have a, a network card, so I, I don't have access to Wi-Fi using this box here. That means that uh, I'll need an Ethernet cable, which I will plug into this extender, and this extender extender must be connected to the Wi-Fi somewhere. All right, that is why I'm going to be able to use my computer box connected into this extender. So as I said, the first as I mentioned, the first thing to do you must have Wi-Fi connected somewhere, and also this extender, and obviously your um your power supplier so i'm going to plug it make sure that uh, it's plugged and then if it's on all right so you can see this uh, uh light here it's on it shows that uh, this uh, extended has been um switched on and then i must plug my ethernet cable here in this slot you just make sure that uh, the click has been that you hear that click that shows you that uh, there, there was connection. So on the computer side, I also have to use the Ethernet cable, which I've plugged into my extender into my computer here at the back of the computer, because as you know, there's a slot reserved for this Ethernet cable. So that, that shows that uh, it, is, it has been connected. So the light is on, which is good. And then there's some setups some settings or some configuration which has to be uh, done here on my computer side. So I have to open any browser. I'll use this uh, Microsoft Edge. Just double click on it, and then on the searching on the on the searching zone here, I'll put in default. This is the default address. IP address, the, the default IP address for this extender. So let me get back to my browser and then I'm just going to paste the address because you see it's a one, 192.168.0.254. And then that is the one. So after I've done putting it, I have to click on enter on my keyboard and then it gives me this interface. So this interface shows that uh, uh, I'm about to uh, to configure it or to to set my TP link or my Wi-Fi range extender, so it is asking me to put the password. This password it is the one that is going to uh, configure this TP link or this Wi-Fi range extender, so that next time if I want to use the Wi-Fi coming from this extender, the password I'm going to put here. That is the one I'm going to be using for me to be able to use the Wi-Fi coming from this, extern uh, from this extender, okay? So I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five. That uh, is the password. And then I have to confirm by retyping again the uh, very same password which I just entered now. That is one, two, three, four, five. Then I click on starts. Oh, sorry. So, which means that the, this password are not matching. Let me just start over. One, two, three, four, five. And then one more time. One, two, three, four, five. It seems like now it's working. I go to start. All right. So now it's scanning to see if the extender is working. And in the meantime, here is try to locate the Wi Fi around me. And I'm going to make a choice as to which Wi-Fi uh, I want to use for me to extend by using this extender. So the Wi-Fi of my house is this one, this one over here, all right? So I'm just gonna click on it, and then I have to put the password. So this is the password of my Wi-Fi, and then I go to next, okay? Next one more time, then save. Just wait. Now the extender is going to reboot to apply the settings. Which settings? First of all, the password which I just created, and also to do the connection between this extender 
from the router, which is some way for me to be able to use the Wi-Fi coming from that router into this extender. And then I can spread it using other computer, which will then be connected from, uh, to, to this extender. All right, so once the rebooting is done, it is going to give you this uh, interface saying that congratulations, now connect uh, to your new extended network and enjoy the internet. So I have to check this uh, check uh, box here. So I can go ahead, I'm connected. Then I go to finish. So he is asking me to put the password. Remember, which password should I have to put here? <coughs> Sorry. I have to put the password which I just created by the time I was setting up this extender here. So that is going to be remember one, two, three, four, five. Then I go to logging. All right. So the connection has been done. But look at here. If you look at here, now it shows that uh, I have access to the internet. As you can see, it says network six, which is connected. So I can now use my computer box because now it is connected to my extender and my extender is getting Wi-Fi coming from the router which is in my resting room. So let's just try to make sure that uh, it is actually working. I'm just going to reduce this window here. Let me try to launch um, another another window here another i'm, I'm just gonna la launch another browser which is this one basically so i just want to make sure that uh, it is working properly if it is working i'll be able to be connected to the internet there we go so you can see that uh, i'm able to be connected definitely so the connection has been done i can try to go to youtube and let me try to do something here trying to go to YouTube. All right, so we can see guys that I've just managed to extend the internet from my router to my Wi-Fi range extender and then to my computer box. So it is working properly because the internet is going through this cable here. And in so we can see that it is working properly. So guys, this is how you're going to configure your Wi-Fi range extender for you to be able to work in case your wi-fi is very far from where you are actually working or if you are using a computer box which does not have a network code you can then extend comp your, the, the, your internet from your router to your extender through this ethernet cable and then you are going to be able to be connected and this works perfectly Thanks a lot, guys. If you really like this video, I'm please going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Maybe when I drop something next time, you're going to be alerted. That can be important. That might be what you have been looking for. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.